M0FXB, welcome to my channel. ATS25 receiver. Just going to show you how to download the latest firmware from Arduino. Now, remember to use this, you have to pay a license fee of around 15 euros. You just send them a message, they send you the number after you've paid into their PayPal. So, click download here for the ATS25 model. Link will be in the description. You could do the beta one, but I think that I'm going to choose the top one. Also, you could download this as well. So if we click this one first and extract that into a folder, which we've done here, this yellow folder here, and then further down, we're going to click this one, which is called additional files, utilities, file manager. It's a way of uploading different parameters, settings, parameters into the device. So click download and you'll end up with these two folders once you extract them into this file that you have created so you can find it easily. So the firmware one, which is the, let me just show you which is the firmware one, double click. Looks like we haven't got the Explorer in that one there. Let's download the Explorer. Where is it? Okay, that's downloaded now, Explorer. Extract to, you've created a file by going right click, new file, new folder, and then you create a file and name it. And then we're just gonna extract the file we just got to that. So look for that file, we'll go to desktop, go down and look for, I called it H2. Somewhere here, too many files, I click OK, and it's gonna appear in there. Close that window, double click, and there you are. You've got your Explorer and the SPIFS and also the firmware. So once you're in this window, all you do, go down and double click flash here. See it says flash there, double click. They've made this really easy for everyone. Then click one, because we are English. If you're not, then click a different number. But number one, and then enter. It gives you a long list of all the improvements. That is a long list. Yeah, excellent. Thank you very much to Hardwino. Then it says press any key to continue. Update instructions. Before you continue, make sure you've got the driver and the, the drivers are all there. If you need drivers, they're here, look, okay. Uh, press any key to continue. Port number, so it's plugged into the back of the ATS25 and into my PC. Right click, device manager. So you right click here, the squares. Device Manager, that's going to show you where your ports are. On the left here, Ports, just double click Ports. See that? Then you can see that you are USB Serial CH340, but you're COM9 or I'm COM9, you might have a different number, but look for USB Serial CH340. So here we're going to put 9. Okay, as you know, first of all, we choose which radio we've got, which is here, we choose number 1. If you have the ATS little handheld, you choose three. I haven't seen the other one. So we're going to put in number one, hit the enter. Now it's the com, we know it's nine. Enter, and as soon as I go enter, it will upload. And then it will reboot at the end. Like so. Now I know it's scary doing firmware. But they have made this reasonably easy. Press any key to continue. It's come back on. You see all the new firmware versions. It's all there as it was. Now, the Explorer, I'm not going to do the Explorer thing. But I'm going to show you what, what it does. So we double click my file here. And this time we're going to click Explorer. And then we've got all these files here. Now, double click this window here, Explorer. And then we'll just connect to it. So we'll, we know it's COM9. And we'll go connect. These are files that I've already uploaded to my device. Now, I, I'm not f familiar with it, all this, but I, I thought I'd show you. If you can actually scan and find your COM disconnect. And so you can bring in different settings. I haven't never done it. And you can upload them just by clicking upload there. Look, see? download I'm not going to touch any of this but I wanted to show you that it's there um, and look you know we'll learn more about that looking at the Arduino site now if you need an activation key to make new firmware work go to activation software 
like so. This is now that's the section to activate the key, but you need to get your key. So let's find that page. So this is the home page, and a lot of information here and, and screenshots, video overview here as well. Buying a license key, I'll show you that in a sec. Let's go to I'm trying to see if I can see any any more photographs of the software. That's the video. Buy a license key. So we'll go to license key. And it takes you to this forum. You go to this forum. And what I did was I messaged someone. Because once you've installed Arduino firmware, you have to have a license key. And yeah, you've got people with problems. But I messaged someone who said, look, here's someone here. Purchase of the, of the, oh, the H radio. What is the H radio? I've not seen that. Anyway, um, activation. I messaged someone, and then within an hour, they had emailed me this key. I had to pay 15 euros into their PayPal. So it's very doable. So what is the H radio? I've not heard of H radio. H radio Arduino. H radio Arduino. Anyone heard of that one? Images? No. No, I don't know about that one. I'll look into that and do a video on that. I'm interested in that. Bye for now. 73, please like and subscribe. Catch you on air. All the best. And thanks to Arduino. Excellent, excellent software.